Hey guys, so let me hit you with some numbers on the MetaZoo Hello Kitty quote investment opportunity. So this box was selling for $300. It has two booster boxes in it. At one time, they were listing that they had over seven. They had seven thousand booster boxes like this for sale, uh, and that would mean fourteen thousand total boxes. Um, so each of these has two booster boxes, free promos, a dice, uh, a pin, and I, I guess something else, right? Um, and it does come in a nice display, so it does come with a very cool looking display. And the price that you would get for it, so the box is the same box that you would be buying from a YouTuber. And the YouTubers and the stores would be buying these boxes at $69.99 according to Nick Strength and Pokemon. And that means that uh, this product at $150, which comes with the two exactly same booster boxes, and people are speculating that the booster boxes will have better odds to hit a Chromie 6, which will, you know, obviously that's a value card. And there's also a, a, the, the lore of a pink box. Does it exist? Does it not exist? Who knows, right? But... Um, people were paying upwards of $140 for one box. This set has two boxes, which means if you assign the, the card, the promo cards, the box, the dice, and so on, a, a value of $10, these boxes are now selling for half of the MSRP on TCG Player eBay account. Now, why this is so astonishing is I've never seen anything like this where they just slash the price of a collector's item. And this is a collector's bundle. That's what they call it. In half. Um, because they're not selling enough. This is really a strong indication that the entire market for MetaZoo is collapsing. Uh, this was the one product that was supposed to save MetaZoo, right? I was very excited, you know, I actually made, a, you know, I made videos, I was going to go to Collecticon to purchase this product uh, for Halloween, right, Halloween, and it didn't come out, and I was like, oh, well, there's no reason to go to Collecticon Houston anymore, and they actually, the, the person running their official YouTube channel reached out, said, hey, you know, we're interested in setting up a promotion, and it's like, you know, I only really care about the Hello Kitty stuff, so don't give me the made out native and whatever. The, the price of the box, again, I'm going to predict. So the MSRP, which the stores were supposed to sell it at and the YouTubers were supposed to sell it at, was $140. They bought it for $70. I think the current value of this box has to be below $70. Um, you're not going to buy it from a random store when you can buy it from the official eBay channel for 150 or 75 with promos with packaging with free shipping and all that good stuff i think the value of a booster box right now is probably 60 dollars. what people are going to do is they're going to buy these boxes throw them back on ebay as single boxes and they have to be substantially lower than the collective whole right and maybe keep the promos or whatever they're going to do maybe they like the dice i think this box can drop down to 50 um fifty dollars from a hundred and forty dollars a booster box that's what your your store is supposed to so some important numbers seventy dollars of what your store paid for it or what argos paid for it supposedly from the distributor 140 is what they're supposed to sell it to for at ebay it was around 110 190 and collapsing and now we are in total collapse but even with total collapse we're still selling only 10 percent of this special stock so as long as this is in stock, which could be for years, uh, given the current sell-through rate, um, the booster box will never be over $70, right? Because you can buy this for $75 and get the promos. Uh, it's got to be at least 20%. Um, it's got Because this is the official channel. There's no reason you would buy from a complete rando rather than buy from this. And the people who purchased their boxes from their Argos and other individuals uh, for over a hundred are probably feeling very silly right now um, as these boxes will plummet into basically oblivion I think um, in terms of where this what this means for MetaZoo I, I don't think anyone can defend this type of behavior um, so the people who are most excited for this product 
um, got f the most, right? They paid $300 for a product that lost half its value overnight. Uh, these stores that were supporting MetaZoo, who were paying, who were paying 70 and selling, and hopefully trying to sell this for 140 and maybe they were luck- left with the inventory, they can't be happy. They can't be happy. I- I'm pretty sure that the current market rate of this booster box as a single is over is probably seventy dollars or less. So already in a very short time period, the booster box has gone below distributor price. And I think it can collapse even more. I think it's just on the verge of collapsing. And the reason I believe that is only six hundred, less than six hundred out of the total seven thousand have sold at the one fifty price. I think a few of them sold at three hundred. I don't know I hopefully everyone got refunds. I'm hoping, but there's still 90% of this particular item left or 80%, whatever percentage. There is still a large amount of percentage that people don't actually think this is a good deal at 150 for two boxes. They're probably waiting for them to slash it to 75 or 80 or 90 or 100. Could I see this going at 100 if they don't sell enough? Absolutely. So then the question, you know, you have to beg, begs to be said, is what's happening at Claire's? What's going to happen at the Hot Topic? How much are they going to sell these blisters? Like how much, I mean, these are basically dollar packs. The next jump would probably be $100 for two booster boxes, right? If they cannot sell enough. And if that is the case, then you're looking at $50 a box plus free promos. Well, they're the promos are worth, right? Um, I don't know. The, the promos in NYCC are worth hundreds of dollars, apparently, to MetaZoo people. Um, so these promos worth hundreds of dollars, too, and the boxes are worth almost nothing? I don't know. You know, I, I'm the number one MetaZoo content creator, but even I am taken completely by surprise by um, what has happened here. This is completely unseen. Like, it, it's un. I don't know. I mean, will Argos, will Alpha Investment, will all the people pumping Meta San Rio as kind of the savior of Meta Zoo, will the people pumping it really um, step up and say, you know what, um, this is what's happening, and you know we don't like it. You, you know, I'm looking at this Markers V Market Boom Meta Zoo. So there's that's three days ago. There are still people who are promoting Meta Zoo, right? Best MetaZoo sets ranked. That's 11 hours ago by Argos. MetaZoo did PSA lick my gold supporter medal. 381 views streamed an hour. How do they feel? Like Argos got some heavy bags, right? Like this is why, um, this is why you cannot invest in this, guys. This is not an investment opportunity. Everyone who invested at 70 or from a distrib- that's that's the distributor cost. God, imagine you pay $140 for this and you see that you can get two of them for $150 with a promo, free shipping, and a dice, and I guess like a card sleeve. I don't know what else they throw in here. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Bye, guys.